Mm -mm -mm. Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are going to do a 64 Impala Lowrider. Now this is going to be tough. I don't even know if you guys are going to see this video. It's going to be some very detailed painting and masking and it's going to be difficult with the airbrush I have. So if you see this video, maybe it turned out pretty good. So we're going to give that a shot today and we'll see how that goes. So I have prepped our 64 Impala, basic white, but it's got a heavy, heavy, heavy sparkle on top of it so that any color we add to this basic white is gonna now turn into blue sparkles, red sparkles, whatever we want. So I'm not sure how this is gonna go because this car is obviously very small and your classic lowrider paint jobs are extremely complicated, but we're gonna give it a shot. We'll see how we do. So I got this clear coated. It's gonna be a really paint heavy video today. So let's just get into masking. So the first thing I wanna do is establish a center line on this car. I'm gonna be using very thin vinyl stickers to be kind of my masking tape for this project. So let's see if I can get one of these. Since regular masking tape is gonna be humongous on this car, I need to go to extreme measures these vinyls this is the same kind of vinyl sticker paper that I use to do the flame masks because it's very tacky I just want a center line so that when I start taping, I have like a point of reference. So anywhere I put these on the car, we're gonna end up with uh, this metallic -y flake as a trim. I don't really have a design in mind. I'm just gonna go for it for the most part. So obviously if I painted this light blue right now and we peeled these off, we'd have these white little skinny pinstripes, which is about as skinny as we're going to get on a car this small. I'm liking this trunk one and I'm liking this roof line right here. That looks sweet. So try to get the other one on the other side, match the roof and the trunk. The hood, it might be a little bit different. I don't know. We're just winging it here. This is going to take me a while, obviously, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run. All right, helping hands. Help me. Help me, helping hands. This vinyl would be similar to what they use to actually do this stuff. If I can bend this corner. Pimp. I think I'm fairly happy with this section. Hopefully that looks good. So obviously this is my first time doing this. My goal is to have a bunch of these and over the years progress to more and more intense ones. If I didn't have these little vinyl strips, there's no way, no way I'd be able to do this with tape. Like that. So 
one of those things I wanted to do for real on cars. It was always my dream growing up. Never really got around to it. Got in the oil field at a young age in the oil industry and could have been there my whole life. Do something like that. It wasn't going to make sense if I continued a line over here. I couldn't follow that over the wheel well. It would have been a pinch point right here and it looked stupid. It's our first one, so I know you guys are going to give me a little bit of leeway on this. <laughs> Probably not, but you know. Okay, we're going to start making some panels now on the roof. So I'm going to use a little bit thicker stuff here. One millimeter. So I'm using some of this chrome vinyl just because it's, a, it's the right uh, width that I'm looking for. And I'm going to lay down just a pair of these bad boys. The foil doesn't really have any use at all. It's actually, I wish it wasn't foil. It just happens to be the right width we're looking for. So I'm using it. It's a little bit thick. That's all right. Okay, so everywhere we got silver right now. I'm going to spray the whole thing with a purple candy and then we're going to peel off all the masking and then we're going to have a nice, we're going to have all these white areas and then I'm going to do another layer of candy on top of that so then we're going to have dark candy, light candy, dark candy, light candy, dark candy, light candy and then we're going to come through and maybe add some other colors on top of that. I'm going to extend that color zone all the way down. Just got one more to make for the trunk lid. Don't worry about the chrome, it's all coming off. Like I said, this is just masking off a light section so that we can have a dark section. All right, I got our purple here. Car is ready to go. It's looking kind of wild. Mix up a little purple. Here goes nothing. So the idea is we're going to pull this all off and then we're going to do another couple coats of candy, maybe like one really light one, just to purple up these white areas, but they're going to be a different shade than the rest of the body. So it's going to look really cool, especially if we do some overlapping on top. It'd be extra pimp if we could pull that off. Hey, now I got all the masking off. We're going to give it another coat of candy and we're going to have a light purple and then this dark purple is going to darken even deeper. And then we'll move on to phase two. It's getting ready to start doing a pattern here. This car looks a little bit different. That's because I had to redo everything. I had a little oopsie daisy with the airbrush and I had to redo everything that we've done so far in the video. So it's been a lot of work. So I'm going to start doing a fan pattern here. We'll see how it goes.
trying not to take any chances with all the uh, uh, whoops a daisies I've had so far on this. It's been kind of a kind of a project. Like I said, we're going simple on this first one. So far so good, this hasn't been that bad. Paint. I'm gonna try to do a border. This is a pretty big needle on this airbrush, so I'm trying to use the overspray to get what I want done. I can't aim directly at the project. Should be using something with a lot smaller of a needle. So once this dries, I'm gonna have to do a little teeny bit of sanding just to clean up that little bit there. I got a little bit too much at one time. I'm gonna have to clean that up. In the meantime, we could switch to the other side. Cover all that up. Well, that's not perfect, but that's still pretty sweet. Anyways, I'm going to clean that up a little bit later. It's pretty hard to do. It'd probably be pretty easy for a professional, but I'm just an old bush ape. So let's, uh, let's pull off some of this other stuff. I've done another light layer of purple over the whole thing now. And I've got a bunch of masking i got to pull off. And that's going to expose a bunch of white. I don't know how it's going to look. My plan was to have multiple shades of purple, so I have to expose the white slowly, bit by bit. Gonna take me a little while to peel all this off. There's quite a bit on there. That doesn't look too bad for our first try at low rider paint. I got a little bit of glue left on here. It was transparent, left over from this uh, the chrome vinyl I was using. So I know I'm not gonna be using that anymore, but we're past the point of removing that. If I were to sand that out and try to just redo the candy, the candy is going to be a different shade. So I'm just going to leave it in there. Take it as a lesson learned about that vinyl. Everything else is looking pretty sweet here. It should look really good after a clear coat. And I was thinking about tinting these stripes with maybe a different color. But I don't know. I think it's going to look cool with this the white flake that's in there dividing everything up. So I'm going to go ahead and clear coat this as is and uh, we'll see. We'll see how this looks. I think it's going to be pretty sweet. This roof should be really cool anyways. So what do you think of this? Pretty fancy. Hell yeah man, that turned out really good. Had a lot of problems pulling this off, but uh, I feel like I've got a pretty good handle on things now. It's a shame I had to do this twice. This video should have been out like three days ago, but I think it was worth it. I think it was worth the extra time. Overall, I think that turned out pretty sweet considering it was a used Hot Wheels. You know, it was a little bit banged up. I'm going to start checking the shelves, see if we can get some more Impalas for the future. I'd like to have a whole lineup of these lowriders. You know, all of them be in different colors, whatever. A couple little imperfections under the candy on the hood, which sucks. It was just that those little bits of transparent glue I couldn't see under the bright lights. But live and learn. 
think the rest is just mint on this thing. I didn't add any additional sparkles to this. So what we're seeing is the original white flake that I put below the candy. So that's pretty legit. You know, that's how they would have did it if they were actually building one of these. So hell yeah. I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions for other cars that we could do lowriders on, I think that'd be sweet. Monte Carlos. Maybe Buick Regals. Anything with a big flat, big old flat trunk. Big flat hood. Anything like that would be pimp. Hell yeah. Anyways, guys, I got another video I got to work on. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. And I will see you later. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm.